I have a mobility impairment. I'm dyslexic, which means I have difficulty reading and pretty bad handwriting. And I became legally blind at 25. And I'm a graduate from the University of Washington's Master of Human Computer Interaction and Design program. My major in that is human-centered computing. I'm an undergraduate at Auburn University, majoring in computer science and focusing in accessibility. Words appear. Leading the way, computing students and professionals with disabilities. I'm Richard Ladner, professor in computer science and engineering at the University of Washington. We rely on computers, tablets, and smartphones to do work and stay connected more than ever. Not only can technology provide access to people with disabilities, but people with disabilities can be part of the computing workforce as software and web engineers, systems administrators, usability engineers, and researchers. I am a um, software development engineer at Amazon. Michael. So I started um, programming when I was around 15. Um, I've always been really into computers. Um, I used to play a lot of audio games. Those are basically uh, like video games, but they use sound instead of uh, graphics. Um, so I was really into those. You know, I really wanted to create games, and that's what really got me into programming. My name is Jesse Schulman, and I'm an operations program manager in the web services field and a graduate of the University of Washington. And I have a, a learning disability, so I struggle with language to begin with. So learning a computer syntax like Java. Um, all, the, all the problems that I had, the struggles that I had with English came up again with Java. So the, the early coursework was really difficult for me, um, but when I stuck with it, I really enjoyed the data structure classes that came later on. Vincent. I don't just have a passion for it, I live it. I, uh, I breathe and think what I can do with a computer or with computing systems. And uh, that's why I have six of them. And I do everything imaginable with them. I, my goal is to see what can be done instead of what can't be done. Anna Marie. There's nowhere you can look in computing and not find a challenge. Um, I'm the kind of person who, when I come across one of those little challenges, I keep digging and digging and digging until I can find the answer and figure out how to fix the problem I'm having. Sam Sines. I'm Sam Seppa. I'm an HR professional and I've worked for a variety of tech companies over the last 10 years of my career. And now I'm focusing on recruitment for software engineers. Students are attracted to computing for a variety of reasons. My name is Cindy Bennett, and I am a first year PhD student in the Human-Centered Design and Engineering Department at the University of Washington. My name is Hayfans. I am uh, an undergrad at UW Tacoma. So I'm finishing my BS in Information and Technology at UW Tacoma. My name is Jesse, and I'm a fourth four year student at the University of Washington, being joined in informatics with a minor in diversity. And I, uh, I, I get to find my son as Gap. My disability is complex. There is one that started from birth, which is my right arm. So I just and do everything with my left arm. Computing is interesting to me because I can combine my two passions to create an impact. So I have a passion for psychology and creating a user experience that people really enjoy. And I have a passion for using technology to improve people's lives. It is important for people with disabilities to pursue careers in science because we have really unique life experiences and skills that we can offer. And it's important that for us to be stakeholders in projects and for us to be represented on the market. What I would like to do is to go into security, which is becoming a subject today. So I think that's really important for people with disabilities like me, myself, 
Maybe you could get in your computer field because technology has played a huge role in helping us better access the larger world. So, for example, the cookie press has to heal, right? But also, the texture system that we use for phones, um, computer message system. People with disabilities can receive accommodations and use technology to help them in school and in the workplace. Kevin. My main accommodations would be extended time on tests, having uh, my books available as uh, e-text format, which means I can use a screen reader to read out the books to me. So even though when I'm reading it myself and I may not be able to understand it, the computer is telling me exactly what those words are. Many devices come equipped with accessible features including larger text, text-to-speech, and spell checking. I use a typical computer like everyone else, but it has an additional piece of software called a screen reader loaded onto it. The screen reader tells me what is on the screen, and I use the keyboard to navigate. Basically, the information that comes up on the screen gets converted to information I can hear, or it can be then converted into something that I can use a braille display to read with as well. Um, I know not a combination I use almost every day is called CART, C A R T, which stands for Communication Access Real Time. And so, what it is, is a capturing device that real time capturing it that I can read the transcript on the screen while a professor is talking in real time. The accommodations that I used in school included books on tape. I used a note taker for certain classes, and um, I used dictation software for my writing tasks. Um, at work, I use a text-to-speech um, for some of my written tasks, writing emails, large papers. Uh, it helps me proofread and write more quickly. People with disabilities can be valuable team members who bring fresh perspectives to classrooms labs, and workplaces. And at COSPI, task your center for accessible technology. Regardless of your ability, you can create. You can be an innovator in a, in a space. Being a problem solver is definitely really important when you're a software developer. And uh, if you're someone with a disability, that's something that you have to do pretty regularly. Since, you know, we're faced with challenges all the time, we have to find solutions. To them, so that probably makes us better problem solvers, and you know that's definitely a good trait to have when you're working in this field. I work in an environment where it's it's not who you are; it's what solutions do you bring to the table. Are you willing to work with other people? Um, are you thinking about all of these different teams, all of these different options? Sam signs. Candidates with disabilities have a unique thought process to bring to a company. Our country is diverse, so the marketplace needs to attract a lot of diverse people who will use products that we are selling or the services we are providing. If a country is diverse, your team needs to be diverse as well, to parallel what our country's demographics are. Words appear. For more information about access computing and resources related to increasing the participation of people with disabilities in computing fields, consult uw.edu forward slash access computing. Access computing is supported by the National Science Foundation grant number CNS-1539179. Any opinions, findings, and conclusions or recommendations expressed in this video are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the views of the National Science Foundation. Copyright 2016. Permission is granted to copy these materials for educational, non-commercial purposes, provided the source is acknowledged. Described by AudioWise.